Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and this is my July book haul. So today I only have seven books that I hauled in July. That's fine with me. You guys know how it works here on this channel. I pretty much only buy books after I have read them because it just saves me from wasting money and time. And I hate doing that. I hate owning books I don't like. And if I already own the book, I will feel the need that I have to read it and I won't DNF it and that's just a waste of time. So I've read all of these books recently and that's gonna be no surprise to you guys. So let's just get started. The first two books I got this month are part of my favorite ongoing middle grade series and that is Keeper of the Lost Cities. So we have book number six, Nightfall, and book number seven, Flashback. So I only need to get caught up and read book number eight, which I believe is called Legacy. But I just love these hardcover books. I just think that they're adorable and like the whole series on the shelf is so satisfying. And these are huge middle grade books. Like obviously the font is large. They're like 800 and some pages. So I'm so excited to add these to my collection and I don't have room to display them on my shelves yet, but once the move happens, I will. So you guys hear me talk about this in like every other video about this fantasy series. So I will spare you the details, but if you're looking for a middle grade fantasy series to pick up, I cannot recommend this series enough. I absolutely adore it. I love all of the characters. I love the world. I love the magic. And it's just such a fun time with such important themes and topics discussed. And I do not think you'll regret picking it up. The next book I got in the month of July, one of you guys sent me, and I believe Alwyn is how you say your name. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm so sorry if I did not say that properly. And that is The Killing Moon by N.K. Jemisin, the first book in the Dreamblood duology, which I think I read in June or May or June, something like that. I really love this duology and I actually already can't wait to reread it so I'm very excited to own the physical copy now. This book deals with narcomancy so dream magic and it's a very political story with a pretty like sexist brutal world but just very very beautiful writing right on par for typical N.K. Jemisin and I just think this is such a unique world based on ancient Egypt I believe and such a unique story that it was just a really great change of pace. Like I said, I already can't wait to read this book again and I do highly recommend the audiobooks for this duology as well. So thank you. That was so sweet of you to send me the book. I really appreciate it and I'm so glad to add it to my collection. The next book I picked up this month is My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. I freaking love this book so dang much. Like it is so much fun. I listened to the audiobook of this as well a couple months back and we're following this this girl as her friend gets possessed and she tries to perform an exorcism with somebody to get her friend back. It's not a scary book whatsoever. It's actually very humorous, which I think like the campy 80s horror look like, like the back. <laughs> can sort of give that away to you, but I am also obsessed with this cover. I can't imagine anyone reading this book and not having a good time. In the beginning, it like really explores the relationship between the two best friends. So I think that just know that's a big part of it going in and do not expect to be scared at all. But if you just want something that's like funny, horror, then you should give this a try. But I just love everything about this book. And I like need more of this in my life, like more of these type of books and more of these type of covers. I don't know, I just, I was born in the wrong era. I want more 80s. I love everything from the 80s. The next book I picked up is Bloody Rose by Nicholas Ames. This is the sequel to Kings of the Wild and I read this actually just in the month of July and I enjoyed this so much more than Kings of the Wild actually. So I'm super excited to own a copy of it now for my collection. This just really appealed to my taste a lot more. It had a much more direct plot line. I liked the character interactions and I just, I saw a lot of improvements in my opinion in his writing and character development and even just with the plot alone within this compared to the first one. The first one, Kings of the Wild, I'm sure you guys have heard about, if not on my channel, everywhere else about this band of mercenaries getting back together one last time to save one of the members daughters. It's just a fun, like mostly a lighthearted fun time in my opinion. This one was more emotionally impactful to me, so that's probably why I enjoyed it a bit more too, but I definitely recommend this series if you're interested in any of the things I've mentioned about it so far. You guys, I'm so excited to finally own this book. <laughs> 
I've been waiting forever to read this book, A Little Hatred by Joe Abercrombie. I have like less than 10% left right now and it's getting a five stars already just because that's, that's me. You guys know I love Joe Abercrombie. I love everything by Joe Abercrombie. So this is also in the first law universe after the first six books and the short story collection. And if you guys watch my videos and haven't looked into Joe Abercrombie yet, like what are you doing? But this definitely did not let me down at all. Personally, I think it's very important to read all six books and the short stories before you get to this because I think if you just picked up a little hatred without having read everything else first, it definitely wouldn't be a five-star book just because there wouldn't be that much depth to all the characters and all the past in the history of the world. So I would read all seven books first. But but just know he's not going to let you down by the time you get to this book. And now The Trouble with Peace is coming out so soon. And hopefully I get to pick that up much sooner than I did with A Little Hatred. I do hate that it's hardcover though and not paperback because I want to match it to my other books. But like it won't match now. First world problems. And my last and my favorite book that I hauled in the month of July. I think you guys probably already know. And that's Memories of Ice by Steven Erickson. And the man is so freaking kind. He saw my review and reached out to me because I couldn't find the nice hardcover edition that matched the height of my Gardens of the Moon copy that I picked up and I wanted the full size, not the book club size. And he was like, oh, I can get you a copy. So he did. And I just thought that was so kind of him. And he absolutely did not have to do that. And he asked if I wanted a specific quote in it when he inscribed it and personalized it. And I said, you choose one. So it says to Brittany, what the soul can house, flesh cannot fathom. Thanks for your reviews. And this is probably my favorite book I own just for the fact that he randomly found my videos and sent it to me. And I'm very, very thankful for that. That was so kind of him. And it's like from his own personal collection. Like he had to go get it off his bookshelf. So. That's pretty cool and it's a really nice copy of it. So I will cherish this book, <laughs> especially since that's one of my favorite books of the year so far. But those are the seven books that I picked up in the month of July, which is pretty reasonable. I feel like I'm doing way better because I was buying like way more books earlier in the year. I do have to like play catch up a bit here though because there's a ton of books I've already read sitting in my Amazon wish list that I've already read but still need to purchase to add to my collection because I'm a book hoarder and I need all the books I've ever read. <laughs> so what books did you guys pick up in the month of July? Comment below and let me know. And what is your favorite out of the books I hauled this month? So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.